Here's a 1972 Chevrolet Custom 10 with the deluxe trim package. Very nice little truck, nicely equipped truck from Chevrolet back in 1972. This truck originally was red orange. It has been repainted along the way to uh, what I would call a hugger orange and white combination where originally it was a red orange and white combination. So still very similar to how it would have came in 72 from Chevy. It is powered by a 350 small block underneath the hood that's paired with a turbo 400 automatic transmission. Uh, power steering, power brakes under there also. Uh, this was originally an AC truck. Uh, a lot of the components are still there, but the compressor is not hooked up. You can check out the still pictures so you can see what I'm talking about, and we'll open up the hood a little bit later here too. But check out the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Feel free to give us a call too if you have any questions on this. We'll be happy to uh, answer them for you. 507 386 1726. This would have had the orange plaid interior um, and white, of course. Now it's got a combination, kind of the hound's tooth, orange and black hound's tooth, along with the white. Nice looking combination in this truck with the orange and white. Kind of takes you back to that early 70s and how you would have seen the trucks then. Riding on some nice Hoosier rubber there, as you can see, a little later model stock wheel. But very nice looking on this truck. You can see the underside pictures. Check those out also. Again, uniqueclassiccars.com. The vehicle came to us on a trade. So we do consider trades. Financing is available. We can also help with transportation to where you're located at. You can give us a call 507-386-1726. We can discuss any of that transportation, trades, financing, anything you may like. See how straight this truck is too. It came to us out of Iowa on trade. Paint's in very nice shape. Won't be afraid to show this truck. Drive it to your local cruise-in, roll-ins, or just have some fun with it. Don't let it sit. Get it out and drive it. Again, 1972. Custom 10 with a deluxe trim package. Let's go ahead and check this out. You can see the door cards still appear to be how they would have came back in 72. And of course... Show you that kind of black and orange hound's tooth with the white. This shows up a little more white in the video. If you were here in person, it is not that bright white. It matches this closer, um, this door card. I'm not sure why in the video here and the pictures I noticed it too. But this is not bright, bright white. Let's see if I can get it to, I don't know if I can change the angle and show you, but it's, it's more of a cream or an off-white. It actually is pretty close to this color. It's a little bit darker in person. Let me tell you, this is a little darker in person than this is. This here pretty much matches this door card. I don't know why, like I said, it's showing up so white in the video and the pictures. Let's go ahead and start this up. Still retains the stock of dash. See how easily that 350 starts. You'll also notice tachometer does work. Fuel gauge moved one up, so assuming everything is good there. Uh, down here, the battery gauge. I don't know if you can see it, but that did come up. Uh, temperature hasn't moved, but obviously the truck hasn't been running very long. And here's your oil pressure over here. So it appears that all the gauges work. A little aftermarket stereo has been put in. There we go. So you hear a little rumble out of that 350. We'll slip around to the back too. Cab light works. Door closes. Sounds like a pickup truck should from 72 closing. A little rumble out of that 350. Nothing crazy. Not smoking or anything. We'll slip up front. I'll pause this video and we'll pop the hood so you can see the nice tidy engine bay and see how it looks underneath that hood. Give me a second here. 
All right, here you go. Here you can see components left for the air conditioning up here, compression and everything's not on there. Still has power steering, power brakes, that all is retained underneath the hood. See how smooth that 350 runs. It's a nice overall truck. 1972 Chevrolet Custom 10 with the deluxe trim package. Give us a call, 507. 386-1726 or of course check out any of the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com